Hi, welcome back to Easy Tender training session video on inputting an example of concrete wall into Easy Tender. Today, as an example, we'll be using this drawing. This is an example that we'll be doing today in our training session video of inputting details of concrete wall of dimension 5.14 by 0 0.2. So we'll be inputting these details, concrete and steam details, with the outputs and reporting solutions. To do so, once we have assigned all the levels from the earlier training session video, we'll directly go to Civil Wizard. We'll choose Superstructure Reinforced Concrete Wizard. And once you click on that, you need to choose one of the following options under Group. So you can go for columns or walls. For our example, the easy way to go through it is under columns. So you click on columns and you choose one of the shape selections, rectangular or circular column. And once again, before that, you need to make sure, as per your project requirements, what blinding thickness you want to calculate towards the formwork. So from my side, you have concrete item name, concrete form lining all thicknesses, and the formwork item name as concrete form lining 50 mm thickness. And you can choose many of the options below, 50 mm, 75 mm, 100 mm, or 150 mm thickness. Once you're done with that, please go ahead and select one of the shape selections. For our example, it's a regular rectangular column shape. So now we're getting this window for Columns Reinforced Concrete Wizard. This is the data entry that we need to put our concrete wall details. And then once we're done, we click on Insert and Finish. In case you have to input in other floors, so we'll click on Insert and select New Location. Bear in mind, just like what we have explained earlier, you need to choose the floor that you wish to work on. So if you wish to start on ground floor, mezzanine, or any other floor, you can work on that and then copy the details and paste them in other floors in case you have identical details for all the floors. So we'll start in floor 1 as an example for today. Once again, the number of column types, these are the default parameters. So for our example, we'll just have one and once you clicked on that, the row under the parameters for concrete and steel enforcement was open for us. What is the default frame parameters, like the stirrup diameters in millimeters, you can choose from the drop down arrow. The steel cover in centimeters, the slab thicknesses, this was taken by default from the original setup that we have done to the project. What is the vertical overlap factor, the number here diameter, whether or not you want to include the link stirrups, and if yes, what is the default link stirrups diameter in millimeters. Once again, if you wish to change, you can select the drop down arrow and select the other diameter. The spaces of the stirrups in meters and number of extra stirrups, bottom and top. Now let us input the concrete element parameters and the steel enforcement parameters for the vertical steel and the stirrups. To start with, elements you can name the concrete wall, so we'll just name it as concrete wall CW, and we'll click on the tab. You've got the length in meters, the width in meters, and the height was taken initially from the setup itself. We have the height for floor 1 in the setup that we have done as 4 meters. So length and the width. We'll go back to the drawing. It's 5.14 by 0.2. So we'll go back and we'll put 5.14 and 0.2. Now once you do that, it just tells you to check the input data. 5.14 is somehow away from the range that it is there in the software. So you can just ignore this message by clicking on OK and it will accept the number. By 0.2. Height will keep it as 4. And N is how many numbers you've got of the concrete wall. So we just got one for our example for today. The steel enforcement parameters will start with the vertical steel. Back to the drawing. The main steel is 16 dia 82 numbers. So I have 16 dia, 84 numbers. For the V2, this is the extra vertical steel. So V1 is the main steel. You choose the diameter from the drop down arrow. And N is the number. So I've got 84 numbers of steel, 16 mm dia. 
V2 is the extra vertical C. So in case you don't have extra, you can't put zero as the diameter. You just place zero under N, the numbers. Next, we have the stairs. The stairs for our drawing, we've got 10 mm steel dia by 0.15 spacing. Exactly the same for the links, 10 by 0.15 spacing. In case you have number of extra strips, you can place that. Once you're done, you click on insert and finish in case you want to display the outputs for floor one. In case you want to go to the next floor, you click on insert and select new location. Once again, you can copy these elements or this breakdown to other floor in case you have identical floors. By selecting this row, make sure it is highlighted in orange, it means the row is selected. And then right click, you have save in location or locations. Once you do that, it allows you or it gives you the option to copy paste them in different locations in the same project or in different project. The project we're working on is named the project, so if you expand that icon, you can choose where exactly you wish to save these details in floor 2, roof, top roof, etc. For our case, we don't have the identical breakdown for other floors, so I'll just exit yes and I'll click on insert and finish. Continue this operation will replace all previous calculations, so you just click on this. Once we do that, it'll take us to the final station for concrete and steel parameter outputs. So bear in mind, part, this is our project, level, this represents the outputs only towards floor 1. If you go there under items, concrete for isolated rectangular columns in cubic meters unit. CW, this is our concrete walls. It says volume of rectangular solid and this is the equation parameters. Once again, if you have a regular shape or you wish to do something that is manually to be done, you click on the equation parameters. You'll find all the details with the shape and the dimensions. If you wish to change the equation and the shape later on, you can click on that and the same concept applied to previous videos. You can choose any of these options below. So this is a quantity 4.1122 cubic meters of concrete required for concrete wall CW. Let's have a look at the reinforcement calculations towards the core or the concrete wall over there. So once you click on the reinforcement calculations, it'll take us directly to this item breakdown for the steel. So concrete for isolated rectangular columns, concrete wall, CW, this is the length, width, height. Rep, it means a repetition, how many concrete walls do we have? And this is the ratio kilogram per unit for concrete wall CW 205.06 kilogram per unit. Next, we have the part named the project, the level floor one, just like what I explained to you a few minutes ago. So it, this only represents towards the item in floor one. Now we have the item breakdown reinforcement schedule. This is the straight and bent wires, and both of them, these are the stirrups. So the vertical main steel, this is the dia that we have made earlier. This is the kilogram per meters towards the vertical main steel. This is the length. This is the summation of the length, and this is the weight in kilograms for only vertical main steel. In case you want to check the shape of these or each of these item breakdowns, you click on the row under L, under the length in meters. It shows you the shape code. You can also display the rectangular mainframe stirrups. Once you click on that, it shows you the shape code for the stirrups, along with the number of bars. So these are the dimensions. A is represented, B is represented, and C again is there in meters. And the software calculates the number of bars for you. Once again, if you wish to select some different shape or different shape code, you click on equations and shapes. And this will show you the different steel shapes 
that might be suitable for your project. Otherwise, you just stay with the default shape that the software has chosen for you. So once again, for the stirrups, rectangular short direction link stirrup, you have all these details, number of bars 42. Now this is the weight in kgs for each of these breakdowns under concrete wall in floor 1. And the steel ratio for this breakdown is calculated here. Now we can display these results in a BOQ format in reports. So you click on back to main screen and now we go and select one of the reporting options. Let us go under reports tab and we will select. There are many different reporting solutions. So the first one we'll have is the item breakdowns and we'll also show you the BBS report or bar bending schedule report for the concrete walls in floor 1. So we'll start off with item breakdowns calculation sheet. What happens is, as we have explained before, you can choose which level under your project to display in the report. Our concrete wall was presented in floor 1, so I'll just select floor 1. Once you do that, click on next and the next view. So once we have that, this shows you the name of the project and the item is concrete for isolated rectangular columns. So we've calculated the concrete walls easier way under rectangular columns, as you have explained earlier. So what happens is, it shows you the project, floor one. This is the breakdown description, which is the calculation sheet breakdown for concrete for isolated rectangular columns. So, concrete wall CW, as we have named it, the equation parameters, it shows you the equation parameters over there, and the quantity in cubic meters. So this is the concrete in cubic meters. Next, you have the formwork for isolated rectangular columns, or the concrete wall that we have done. Formwork for concrete wall, this is the equation, and this is the quantity. Once you're done, you've got total quantity of formwork of rectangular columns in test video. We have named our project as test video. So this is the total area of formwork. These are one of the reporting solutions. We can close it and check the BBS report again. So you've got project T report as well. You've got the full bar bending schedule, many other reporting solutions. The essential ones will be shown in this video. So, bar bending for check and approval purposes, if you click on that, once again you need to expand the icon over there, select which floor exactly would you want to display. So, we want to show only the concrete wall in which is done in floor 1. Next, and then view. Otherwise, bear in mind if you forgot to display what finishes or concrete work or site work, you need to choose it earlier. And then when you go for view. So once we're done, it shows you here the bar bending for check and approval purposes of the project which is named test video. Next you've got part of the project, it's only floor one. This is the breakdown, concrete wall, this is the steel, this is the diameter in millimeters, this is the number of bars, and finally the shape and parameters dimension in millimeters. So you've got the vertical main steel, this is the shape, these are the details, this is the number of bars. Rectangular main frame steel, this is the shape, and this is the number of bars and dimensions. And finally, you have the rectangular short direction, link stair. This is the number of bars, this is the shape, and these are the dimensions. Click on close, and you can also display the reports in the project C report. So if you click on that, and you wish to know the C required in general for each of the floors, click on the expand arrow over there, choose floor 1 next and then view 
So what happens is, this shows you the project state report for our project. It shows the diameter. All diameters are chosen. The diameters that we have worked on for floor 1 in concrete walls is 10 mm and 16 mm. So in case you want to select the details for only concrete walls, you need to select on one of these data filtering options. So you need to select our project and floor 1 for isolated rectangular columns. And then you have all diameters. So in case you want to select 10 diameter to display only, you can do that and then click on apply. The pieces number, the total length, the number of 12 meter standard bars and the weight in kilograms. These are the essential reporting solutions that you might need for your project. You can also discover many more under reports. There are more than 10 reporting solutions for your projects. This is the end of this training session video for inputting concrete walls into EasyTender. Thanks for watching.